A level maths, okay, looking at the pure one uh, Pearson Ed Excel past paper on the full A level course. Question number one A, looking at binomial expansion in roughly, okay, five minutes. Okay, let's go. Find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 1 plus 8x power of a half, giving each term in its simplest form. Okay, pause the video, guys. Give, it, give, it, give the question a go and then press play when you're ready. Okay, so answer for this or answers for these. So we're going to have 1 plus or minus ax to the power of n. Okay, is 1 plus anx plus n brackets n minus 1 over 2 factorial times ax all squared plus n brackets n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times ax all cubed plus dot dot dot. Okay, we know that in this case, okay, I've got x equals 8x, n equals a half. We're going to have 1 plus 8x times a half. That would be 4x. So that's the first two terms done. Okay, plus a half brackets a half subtract one over two factorial. Hopefully, happy that two factorial just means two times one, which is just two. Okay, so I'll put it all over two factorial, which is equal to two multiplied by 8x all squared. Okay. That's key, guys. Remember, you have to obviously square everything inside the bracket. Okay. And then the last one is, I'll put it here. We're going to have plus, okay, a half bracket, a half minus one, a half minus two over three factorial, which is equal to six, three times two times one, okay, times by eight X all cubed. Okay. All we now do is just bring these components into our calculator, okay, and then we'll simplify it, okay, or I can do it in my head, either way is fine, okay, I'll try and obviously test myself today, okay, because I haven't got my Casio next to me, okay, so here we're going to have a half minus one is going to be minus a half, times a half is going to be minus a quarter, over two, so that'll be minus an eighth. So minus an eighth times 64x squared will be minus 8x squared. Okay, so we're going to have 1 plus 4x subtract 8x squared, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, please do correct me if I'm mistaken. Okay, and then for the second or the last component, okay, because it wants the first four terms, okay, a half minus one is going to be minus a half. So we've got minus a half times a half will be a quarter. Minus a quarter. Okay, what would that be? That would be um, minus four quarters. So that would be times minus three halves. Okay. So this part will actually be positive. Okay. Minus three halves. So we're going to get three eighths. So three eighths divided by six is three eighths times one sixth. Which would be three forty eighths, and then three forty eighths, okay, of eight x cubed. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, eight cubed here is five hundred and twelve. So we're going to multiply that by five hundred and twelve um, x cubed, and then we'll just simplify that, okay, if we can, okay. And I'm trying to do it obviously in my head here, but I'll try and break it down, okay. Um, that will simplify to 1 16th, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll have 1 16th times this, and then I'll just do the bus stop method. Okay, there's no harm in just putting it in the calculator. I know, I know, I know I'm probably like overdoing it here, but I'm just trying to show my full workings so you can see where I get my numbers from for the numerical part of x cubed. 16 into 5 doesn't go, 16 into 51 goes 3 times with the remainder of three, and then 16 to 32 goes twice. So it will be plus 32 X cubed, okay? So 32 X cubed, 
okay, plus dot, dot, dot. And they are the first four terms of my binomial expansion, one plus a takes the power of a half e. Now the last part, remember guys, remember, if it's not a one there, you factorize out the component. Do you have one plus or minus a x? Okay, it is, it is not a nine, it should be an a. Let's just change it to a b, just to be a bit clearer. I'll, I'll just change it to a b, okay? So it's always has to be in that form and use your formula booklet, okay, or booklet, okay, for the binomial part, okay, but I hope that makes sense. Okay, let me know in the comments, did you get three out of three or did you get some partial marks, okay? Again, where possible, please, 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 I cannot stress or emphasize it enough, please, please show your full workings in every single A-level maths question, okay, even if you use a calculator, please write down your calculation on your calculator okay because examiners are looking to give marks okay so please please show your full workings and the last part is i know i'm not sticking to timings here because obviously i'm teaching the content okay but if you're worried about timings or, or, or anything my advice is obviously do the past papers do it if you can in two hours if it takes you longer then look at the areas or the questions that are taking you a long time okay and maybe think about doing those first in the exam and then come back to the one two or three markers at the end okay that's one option or another option is just do it in the order that you feel comfortable okay but that's it for me today guys sorry if it's actually what at the end hope it made sense please like comment share subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye for now take care all the best for the revision bye for now